Hey, <coughs> excuse me. So I wanted to go through um, Puck's um, final speech um, that closes a Midsummer Night's Dream with you guys. Um, but you're not to watch this until you've had a good dinner yourself, okay? So he starts by saying, if we shadows have offended. Okay, so who does he mean and what does he mean by shadows? But shadows, a walking shadow is a term for um, an actor on a stage, an actor or an actress on a stage. Um, and so like, um, like hand, they had candlelight back in those days and candles create um shadows and they don't last very long so um, a shadow thrown by a candle creates the image of an actor on the stage okay so shadows are like actors on the stage so if we shadows if we actors have offended you okay think about this and all is mended so think on what i'm about to say and you'll no longer be um, offended and will be good again okay um that you have but slumbered here while these visions did appear. So think on it like a dream. So obviously he's playing on the idea that it's called a Midsummer Night's Dream uh, because when the, the lovers all wake up, they think that they've had some kind of weird dream. Um, and if you find this difficult, then think of it as a dream yourself, okay? That you've just been there for the past two hours and that's what you've had. Um, while this weak and idle theme no more yielding than a dream. Okay, so the theme of love and chaos and mix mix ups of who's who and such like all that chaos that's happened um if it don't let it offend you think on it just as if it was a dream okay maybe just a weird dream that you had um, but it shouldn't be something to worry about and to get upset about um gentles do not reprehend so gentles gentlemen gentlewomen people in the audience um do not reprehend if you pardon we will mend okay so don't get cross don't um bring and come and challenge Come and challenge us on this. Uh, and I'm just going to turn this off because it's going to leap into an advert very loudly. Um, okay. Um, do not reprehend if you pardon, we will mend. So we'll go sort it out. Okay. We can we can come to some kind of agreement about this. And as I am an honest puck, you might question whether that's true or not with the sort of mischief that he makes. But um, he is trying to be, he's trying to tell the truth as he sees it. Okay, if we have unearned luck to escape the serpent's tongue, we will make amends ere long. So the serpent's tongue, so he wants to avoid um, bad reviews, criticism. Okay, the serpent's tongue, something evil, people seem bad about what's just happened. Okay, so he wants to avoid that at any cost. Um, we will make amends ere long, else the puck a liar call. Okay, so puck's like, well, no, we will make amends. Think of it this way, think of it as a dream. Um, it's nothing to get upset about. I hope that you've enjoyed it, is basically what he's saying. And so good night unto, unto you all. Good night to you all. Um, give me your hands if we be friends. So he's asking the audience to give them a round of applause. Give me your hands. It's like, yay. Ooh, go shake the uh, Give me your hands if we be friends and Robin shall restore amen. So um, give us a round of applause and everything will be good. Okay. So that's basically what he's saying. It's just a nice way to wrap up the play, um, something that Shakespeare often does. If you look at Romeo and Juliet, you've got um, a prologue and an epilogue where it introduces what's going to happen. It tells you how long the play is going to be. And at the end, it's like, I hope you enjoyed this story of Romeo and Juliet. It's exactly the same thing that he's doing here um, in this play. So just kind of give it a sort of structure on either side. Okay, so give us a round of applause. Everything will be good. Okay, hope that helps.